All right, so now that we've got the issue fixed on this little Phoenix HP 22, we're gonna go ahead and see if it's picky with ammo. See if we have any light strikes. We've got a good variety of ammo today. Blazer. Federal Lightning. CCI segmented hollow points. Some arm score hollow points. Mini mag varmint hollow points. And some mini mag targets. We're gonna see if it malfunctions, jams, or if the issue on the grip with the trigger bar kind of slipping over the sear and hanging up, I think that was causing light strikes. So let's go ahead and find out. Okay, so I've got a uh, full mag of those uh, Federal Lightning. And as you can see, I oiled the ever-living hell out of this thing. We're gonna go ahead and see what it runs. Okay, had our first uh, malfunction. Let's go ahead and clear it, see what it was. So it did strike the case, but it was a light strike. Okay. Okay. I don't know if it's going to come in on there or not, but you can see that it did strike it. So that's the first malfunction. Let me put that in my pocket. Obviously, we'll rerun that. Because I never actually have had a dud. Okay. And it did strike that too. So, and that's why you uh, always clear it. So, with this gun, it's kind of unique. You've got to have the magazine in it to clear it. So, as you can see there, even though my mag was clear, I put it back in it to verify, and there was a round in the chamber. So, that last one, that didn't strike either. Okay, so you can see there the two strikes in the upper corner of each of those. And just so you can get an idea that that is in fact where it strikes them, there it is. So it's just, it's a light strike. Let me go ahead and put those back inside of it. And we will see if it runs them this time. But so far, it's not looking so good. Okay, so it ran those. Pretty good. Let me go ahead and change out the ammo. Okay, so I, I loaded another mag of those uh, Federal Lightning. I'm gonna go ahead and have my wife run this one and see what she thinks of it. Okay, maybe okay. it just doesn't like me. It ran very well that time. All right. Let me go ahead and empty and empty. Okay, so it ran all 10 of them. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some different ammo and we'll be right back. We loaded it up with the arm score. We're gonna go ahead and give those a try, but I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna have my wife run it because obviously it likes her more than it likes me. Oh, I put it on safety. There you go. Huh. Really likes you. Okay. I'm gonna give that a try with those rounds. I'm gonna load me up some. I loaded myself up some of those arm score to see if uh, this little Phoenix really does just hate me or if it's just picky with ammo. Okay. 
Maybe it's just picky with ammo, because uh had no problems running those. So, let's go ahead and uh, load it up with something different. We loaded up a mag of the uh, Blazer Soft Points. Believe it or not, this is actually the type of ammo they recommend for this pistol. So, we're going to go ahead and run it and see how it runs. Okay, had a light strike. I'm going to go ahead and recock it. Okay. Verify it's clear and good to go. So, again, I did have a light strike, which with this pistol, it's not the end of the world. You can always just recock it and strike it again. So, let me load her up a mag and I'll be right back. All right. So, would this thing make an effective gun for self defense? Definitely. So, my first review of all the malfunctions, I believe, were the loose grip. Now it may be ammo related. This is another 10 rounds of that uh, blazer. And I'm going to go ahead and have my wife run it. Okay. Let's see, run it. Anyways, long story short, it doesn't seem too picky with ammo. When it does have a light strike, you could always recock the hammer, fire it again. So, is it worth the, uh, you know, 140 bucks that I paid for it? Absolutely. Would I buy another one? Yes. And my opinion, if you're on a budget and this is the only thing that you have access to, it's better than a sharp stick. So, absolutely, I would take this. All right, so the sun is just about to set, and I am going to sit back in a second and enjoy that with my wife. But for now, the last 10 rounds of the CCI Mini Mag targets, and I'm going to have my wife run them. Okay. Okay, recock it. Okay, so as you can see, we did end up having a light strike two times, and I'm going to go ahead and put both those rounds back in it and run them, because honestly, this thing is fun to plink with. Oh, did it again. I did it again? Yes. Oh. Third time's a charm. Oh. Okay, so we are clear now, but like I said... You've seen it firsthand. Again, this thing is not without its issues. So it is the Phoenix HP 22. And don't get me wrong. You saw it. I mean, I just cock it, shoot it again. Cock it, shoot it again. Doesn't really matter to me because it is a cheap gun. But it's still a great gun for plinking. And I definitely enjoy it. So obviously, normally, the 365 with the red dot would be my go-to. But... We're going to pretend that all I have is the Phoenix uh, HP-22 and see if I needed to, would I be able to defend myself with it in a reasonable amount of time. So, ready? Okay. Oh, first shot. I don't know if I'd be dead or if I'd just have to recock or what. I guess it depends on what the attacker was doing and how far away they were, but okay. Chamber's clear. So obviously the first shot malfunctioned. Now, that's not ideal in a self-defense situation. The last thing that you want is to uh, have to use your gun, pull it out, and it go click. That's not ideal. So I've never had that happen with any center fire cartridge, but just from today's video alone, you could see that it does happen quite often with this. So if this is what you have and it's all you have, get familiar with having to do your malfunction drills, which honestly is good training anyways. It doesn't matter if you have this or if you have something else, you know, if a round hangs up, make sure you do your tap rack and clear 
like uh, you know, luckily this is hammer fired, so again you can just recock the hammer and uh, keep running it. But as you saw there, obviously that's not ideal coming out of the holster and click. We don't want that. We want something that we can count on. Now I'm gonna do a follow-up video on this with the 25 because while I respect if you could only choose one, they are both the same price and I know this is a lot cheaper to shoot, but with the 25 ACP, I haven't had one failure. So zero failures on the uh, HP 25. This thing, even after I've oiled it, even after it's been thoroughly cleaned, even after it's been put back together, if there is a break in period of 500 rounds, we're well past that at this point. So I don't know what else to say about it other than if it's all you have. If it's all you have, get familiar with the controls and get familiar with malfunction drills. So definitely not something that I would count on at the end of the day, but if it's all I had, I would just keep practicing with it. All right, so before the sun sets all the way, I'm gonna go ahead and run another draw from concealment with the HP 22. And we've got a cool little target we found out here. So this little piece of plastic and we're gonna step back about 15 yards and draw from concealment. I'm gonna go ahead and give the camera to my wife. Okay, 10 shots, no malfunctions. Let's go ahead and see what we did to that thing. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So all basically in the center. It is by no means a uh, bad self-defense weapon. The only thing is, like I said, if you have a malfunction, you want to get familiar with having to recock the hammer. So, but it is a great little gun. I love this thing. Nobody's going to change my opinion on it. Whatever I paid for it, it's, I love it. Just so you guys can get an idea of the sunset that I'm talking about and just how beautiful it is out here. There it is. So I'm not sure how well it'll come up on camera, but I will pick the camera up and get another view of it as it drops down.